Top Style. Get off your bottom and on your feet. <laughs> Put on your shoes, let's get up and do some exercise together. Now I know there's a lot of you who sit down and watch it, and I'm talking to you right now. I want you to stand up. You've got a cigarette, take it out of your mouth. Food down, let's get healthy. We're gonna get healthy, so come on, join me. Everyone, begin with a step touch. Go now. I can just imagine someone sitting down having a coffee and cigarette watching the show. That's not what you want. <laughs> get up, put the cigarette down and do some exercise with us. Body up tall, put a bit of a clap in there. Pardon? <laughs> you can sit down again now. Probably having a coffee fit in the house. <laughs> sit down. Four more, four and three. Okay, take the feet out wide and just squat down and up. We're just gonna go through a nice simple warm up. Just rolling the shoulders back. Now the good news is, you don't have to remember any fancy combinations today. All you have to do is know your alphabet. And you'll see why real soon. Do four more swings of the arms and then just roll it back the other way. So we know our ABCs, we're gonna have no trouble. We're gonna do what's called alphabet aerobics. So every move we do is gonna spell out a word. You still trying to work it out? You will real soon. Just four more swings of the arms. Okay, and just go back to a squat, side to side. So for example, this move is a squat or a variation of a squat. So if I was to say, spell out the word sun, I might do a squat, then a U-shaped leg curl, and then an exercise beginning with the letter N, which I can't think of right now. So take the arm up, please. Step, lift, no, an M, an N, N, N. <laughs> a number. Okay, take the arm across. How about we just cheat and say a knee? We just pretend <laughs> that's good enough. Four more, three more. Okay, take the arm right up high. Let's go, lift. Lift. Okay, what we're going to do for the warm up is just start working our way through the alphabet and see how we go. Okay, the arm across again. So we're all thinking of the letter A. I got an easy one. How about we do an easy walk on the right leg? And the thing we do is an arm line. So that's that letter A, an arm line. See how easy it is? Now, how groovy can we get? We're going to go lift, lift, clap, pull down. Nice and easy. Lift, lift. Now I can do it a bit faster. Arm line. Lift, lift, clap, pull down, lift, lift, clap, pull down. Now I'm going to keep doing this until I can think of one that starts with B. <laughs> lift, lift, clap, pull, lift, lift, two more, one more. Okay, feet together, squat down. Okay, see if you can work it out. This is my B move. Can you work it out? Oh, ballet, thank you, that's my B move. I'm thinking about doing arms, but I know I'm just going to mess them up. My C move, tell me what this one is. Yeah? See? A chasse, thank you, Michelle's got it. Did you say chasse? You did, I thought so. Chasse, ball change. Now you want to use arms? Chasse, ball change. So we've gone A, B, C. We're just going to keep working until we have to get up to the stretch. And then we're going to go through and go spell out a couple of words or a couple of names. Two more. Okay, we're up to D. Give me a grapevine. Now I know that's not D. <laughs> yeah, that's a funny D, isn't it? Okay, see if you can work out what it is. Keep the grapevine, tell me what the D is. No, 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 no. Diamond! <laughs> Smarty, well done. Let's all do the diamond together. Let's go. Diamond all the way around. Here we're going to the back of the room. And we like our diamonds big, so that's how we're going to do this one. Big diamonds. I don't know any girl who likes a small diamond. We like them big. Okay, moving on. E, what's an E one? I think we all know what the E is. An easy walk. Swinging the arms as you do it. Keep it going, body up tall. Low impact flick kick, there you go. Ready? Low impact flick kick goes now. Kick, kick, there you go. Nice and easy. What are we up to? A, B, C, D, E, F. We're up to a G. Go back to your grapevine. <laughs> grapevine again. Let's change a little bit. Take one up, up each side. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I know what we can do for an H. Two more grapevines. H is a heel dig. Go. Heel dig. Press. Press. There's still eight more. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Oh, goodness. I. Um. Four more heels. Well, I know what we'll do. We'll march forward and then do a little tap. There's the dot of the eye. Ready? March forward. Here's the little dot. So we're actually making the letter I. Hey! Little dot, dot your eye and go back. Okay, I was getting desperate. <laughs> Top your eye. Keep going. Do that four more times. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. We're up to a J. Any suggestions? A jump? Jack, Jack. There we go. A jack and a jump. Same thing. Just do four more, because we don't do too many of these. And march on the spot. Now, you have got the break to go through the rest of the alphabet. <laughs> we'll see you real soon for a stretch or two, and then to continue with our alphabet aerobics. See you real soon. H-I-J-K. Knee. <laughs> and I'm up to the Z shape. We 
we've gone through the whole alphabet, 26 letters, did them easy. Let's see if we've done the same ones as you. What was Q? Q was queen. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Pardon? Queen. Like, I'm thinking drag queen, Wendy. Take a big step back. <laughs> I think different queens to you. Leaning forward, hold that stretch there. Sorry, I should have done the queen. What is this, the queen? That's it. That's an energetic exercise, that one. Change legs, please. Big step back, heel down. Any other quizzes you're going to throw at me? I've got to be ready for this. Got to be on your toes. And marching on the spot. Okay, here we go, guys. What we're going to do is, because there's two Michelles, we're going to work our way through Michelle first. Now, we're just going to go M-I-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and then kind of work our way around through everybody and just spell out the names. Now, the M, you're going to help me out here, Michelle. What's the M going to be? A mambo, looks good. Mambo, swinging your arms. Now just keep it on the one leg, rock forward, rock back. Okay, you're still going to do four more. Now put as much energy as you've got into it. Two more. Now the next letter is an I. Remember the I we did earlier? March forward, march back. Now if you missed it maybe in the warm up and you're wondering how on earth this is an I, think of how you draw an I, a line with a dot. That's what we're doing. The line and the dot. Keep going. Four more. Four and tap. Three. Okay, let's start putting it together. Here we go. M, mambo, let's go. Woo! Keep it going. Oh, that's not a mambo. Two more. One more. Now the I, march forward. A little toe tap. Do it again. Okay, we're under the C. Help me out here. What's the C, Michelle? Chasse. Let's go. Oh, keep it going. One, two, step back. One, two. So this move there is called a chasse. That's called a ball change. Two more. Put it together. M, I, C. Let's go. There's your M. Here's your I. Go back. Here's your C. Woo! Now your H is a hamstring curl. Yeah, should we try it? M, I, C, H, go. Come on. Here's the I. Bring it forward. Woo! Take it back. C, chasse, go. H is a hamstring curl. And the E, Michelle, is going to be. Easy walk. Thank you. Keep it going. Swing your arms. Two more. One more. Now the L. Give me a step touch. Step touch, put a clap in there. Step clap, let's make it an L-shaped step clap. Ready, go now. Step, forward, back and over. Step, forward, back, let's do it two more times. Step, forward, one more time. M-I-C-H-E-L, go. That's it, march forward, here's the I. Now that C really travels laterally, pick it up. Woo. The H is a hamstring curl, heel up. The E is a... Easy walk, good. The L is a step clap L shape. Let's keep the L shape going. Now Michelle, you spell your name with one L's or two L's? Two L's, so would you like to give me another L? Take it away, let's see it. Lovely, how did I know you were gonna do that? Keep going, lunges. We kind of suss this out in the break. Four more, three, keep it going, two, and back to your easy walks, now. So we finish with an E as well. So we've got the whole name spelt. Let's run through it one time. Mambo, here we go. Woo! March forward, here's the I. Next letter is A, C. Next letter is A, H. Thank you, Wendy. And then an E for an easy walk. Head. And then an L shake, step clap. Energy. Then a lunges, L, L. And an easy walk. We've done it all, congratulations. Thank you, Michelle. Heel dig, stay here. Heel, heel. Wendy, may I come over and get your help? Please come over, I've heard her say. You saved me a spot right here. Thank you very much. Um, <laughs> come back, come back, come back. Heel dig, how rude, huh? Lucky we're friends, huh? We were friends. Keep going. Heel pressed out. There's eight more. Now, Wendy's been racking her brain for a W, and I know she's come out with a goodie. I'd like to see it. A wiggle. A wiggle, show me. There we go, it's two dog. How did I know? Yeah, I told you we're good friends, aren't we? I know what you think. Wiggle, wiggle, shake, shake. Wiggle, wiggle. Now, Wendy's name is actually spelled kind of different. It's W-E-N-D-I. There is no Y. She, hopefully, she changed it for me today. No, no, no. I don't want to do a Y, Wendy. Hey, keep going. There's still two more. Now the E, what's the E gonna be? Um, easy walks. Easy walks, easy walks, back, back. Now, can I add something else to this one? Okay, we can do an E with our legs, an easy walk. We can do an E with our arms. So let's all think like Egyptians, yeah? And let's do some arms. We're gonna go out, out, up, and down. Go again, out, out, up. Oh, we look so beautiful. Out, out, pardon? 
Nice header, it's Liv. Liv, now you gotta do it two more times, please. Now I know Wendy's got a classic one for the N. What would you like to do for N? Nothing. Nothing. Uh, so, you had a nice day today? It's great, yeah. Been great, what have you been up to? Yeah. Are you doing I now? Now it's D, it's oh, D. Oh, <laughs> Let's do a grapevine, please. You Thank can't you spell your own name. W E N I. A weenie. You <laughs> keep going. <laughs> what do you want to do with the D? Diamonds. So, a diamonds. Now, guys, we're going to leave you to come up with the I, and we'll come back real soon to put it all together. Woo! I hope you don't mind, I'm going to call it Wendy. Okay, marching on the spot. Let's make it a little bit of a skip, because it is high-low, so we can actually add a little bit of impact. If you don't want to do the jumping, don't have to do it. Okay, weenie time. Here we go. Let's start with a wiggle. Ready? Let's go. Now, wiggle. Go again. There's still two more, please. One more. Now, the E is an easy walk. Here it is. Easy walk. Now, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to ask you to do a knee lift. Knee lift. Go. Knee. What did you ask for? Oh, I forgot to do the Egyptian, sorry. Diagonal, grapevine, diamond, oops. Diamond round, all the way around. And march forward and back, that's your eye. Because Wendy's name finishes in an eye. Two more. Okay, put it together, here we go. Wiggle, now, Woo. again. Still two more, please. One more, Egyptian easy walk. Go, slow, slow, in, do it again. Slow, slow, and knee lift, now. Knee, knee, keep it going, there's still four more, please. Four, and three, now the diamond, take it away. Woo. Chica Capasa. That's girl, how you doing? I think I understand that. March forward, it's the eye. One, two, three. I remember we always thought they were saying chicken pasta. Remember that? Keep going, every time we heard this song. Chicken pasta, what on earth is this song about? Okay, let's go from the very beginning. Michelle, Mambo, go. Can. And the eye, which is the march forward. Seemed to have lots of eyes. The C, Chate, go. Woo. The H is a hamstring curl. Step, heel. The E is an easy walk. Go again. Chan. The L, step, clap, L shape. The another L is lunges, lunges. And the other E is an easy walk again. We're moving on to Wendy. Here we go. Wiggle it. Now. One, two, double, double. One, two, two more times. One more. Egyptian easy walk. One, two, three. Do it again. One, two, knees up. Now, eight, seven, move back. Give yourself a bit of room because you've got a diamond coming up. D for diamond. Now, all the way around. Two more great lines. One more and finish with the I. March forward and back. Go. Now, to give your brain a bit of a rest, we're going to break it up with a J for June and Janie. Four more marches. Four. Now, because it is high low, we want to get you doing a bit of jumping. So give me a jog. Jog it. Go. Jog. Jog. Heels all the way to your bottom, body up, tall, come on. Make it a slow jog, slow, up. So one sort of jog for June, another sort of jog for Janie. Let's do a June jog, a fast one. Cut, cut, a slow jog, a Janie jog. Woo. Once again, June jog, June, June, and a Janie. From the beginning, Mumbo, Michelle, go. Woo. I, I'm not gonna tell you what the moves are, I'm just gonna tell you the letter. C, here. See how we go. The H, H, four, three, moving on to the E, 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 E. Again, now the L, L shape. Yeah, I told you. Now the L, another L. How'd you do? E's again. Now, Wendy, come up here, help me, help me, help me. Wendy, wiggle. Woo, can. Keep going, two more. One more, now the next one. Easy. Easy. Oh, whoops. The E, an Egyptian, thank you. And the N. The knees. I know, we can spell. We just can't think of a word that starts with N. Keep going, eight more knees. Move back, give yourself a bit of room. Oh, did I say something? <laughs> Everyone, into the diamond. Diamond, go. All the way around, picking a chicken pasta. And moving, march forward, here's your eye. Take it back. Once again, forward, back. Okay, now the June jog, the fast one. June jog, come on. Janie jog. That's all we've got time for. 
June jog. I'm gonna leave you just to run through maybe one more time from the top and we'll see you real soon for a stretch. Michelle, go. Woo. I. One thing that we often do during the breaks is probably a really good idea for you to do is actually once you finish exercise, not just to stop still and maybe start stretching, but actually go for a bit of a walk around the room. We're in someone's living room here and we just went for a stroll around their living room, checked out their kitchen, read their books, and they didn't mind at all. So keep that in mind. A bit of a stroll, you're going to feel much better after having done some exercise. So we're going to do a bit of a stroll, but just on our mat. So we walk one way, then walk the other way. So we're kind of strolling. A very cool stroll, isn't it? I feel like, what's his name? Uh, Will Smith. There we go. <laughs> Except the skin colour's wrong, the sex is wrong. I don't look like him at all, do I? Okay. Just put a little toe tap at the end. Tap it out. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three. Ah, uh, sport all my fun. Everyone, feet together, squat down. Go, down and up. Good. Just nice small movement, letting your heart rate come down. Four and three. Just roll your shoulders back. Eight more. Eight, seven, nice and gently. Four to go. Four, three. Two and one. Everybody sit down, sit down, slowly. Oh, now I've done this, we won't be able to get back up, will we? Okay, take one leg out in front, the other leg bent in, chest up, just gently leaning forward, reach for your foot, pull your chin and your chest forward until you feel a lovely stretch down the hamstring. Hold that position, leaning forward from your hips and go as low as you can. Try and reach your foot, not with just one hand, but with both hands. Give that a go. Kind of straighten yourself out a little bit and then ease down into the stretch. Change legs. Slide the other one out. Start with the chest up. Reaching as far as you can. Now if you can't reach your foot, just reach your ankle, your knee, your shin as best you can and gently pull forward that way. Reach for your foot if possible. And now drag your chin forward towards your toe. Lift your chest up and forward and you want to avoid any slouching through the spine. Hold that for a few more counts. And lift up. Okay, knees up. Take your left, uh, right arm over to the left, lift the chest up, rotate around. Looking glamorously at the television behind us. What do you know, aerobics all styles on, start to start. <laughs> change leg, sorry, change sides. Lift up, rotate round, and we've got a view of the city out this window. Wouldn't it be lovely to live in this house? Views everywhere. Okay, coming up, show me the soles of your shoes. Grab your toes, pull your spine and your upper back backwards. Then press your toes forward and you're going to feel a great stretch right between the shoulder blades through the upper back. Let your head drop down, close your eyes, rest your forehead on your knees and just enjoy that stretch. It should feel quite lovely. And lift up. Take the hands behind the back. Press the chest forward, roll the shoulders up and back together. Get a nice stretch this time through the front of the shoulders. Let your legs relax. Flop, 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 flop. And ease it over under one elbow. Swing your feet around behind you. Pull one heel to your bottom, your right heel. Knee down on the ground, slide your knee back, squeezing your bottom, press your pelvis forward, and you get a great stretch running down the front of your quadricep. Stay in that position. Drag your knee back a little bit if you feel like you want to make the stretch a little bit more intense. And to do the other side, just swing around, do the same stretch on the other side. Heel to the bottom, knee on the floor, sliding the knee backwards, squeezing your bottom, pelvis tilts forward, and the stretch is right down the front of the thigh. And up onto your knees, please. Onto your knees. I'd like you to take your right toe in line with your left knee. Keep your heel on the floor. Shift your body weight forward. And hold that position there, getting a nice stretch to the lower part of the calf. Stay exactly where you are. Okay, and then just do the same stretch on the other side. Remember, if you want to hold stretches for longer, I would very much recommend it. Feel the need if you hold them for as long as you want. So you feel you've had a slight stretch and then move on to another one. Ideally, you want to hold it for at least say, 15 seconds, 12 to 15 seconds to feel any benefit. And as soon as you feel the stretch, ease off, go further into the stretch. Step forward. And we're working our way back up to a standing position because there's no way I can leave you laying on the floor. You'll never get up. Stay there, watch television all day. Feet facing the same direction, as you know. Okay, leave your feet where they are, just pivot round. And this is the position I'm going to leave you in. Thank you very much once again for joining us on Aerobics All Style. On behalf of the gang who helped me out a lot today, Cheers and bye.